Look at this, guys. Sadie, me, G, T. Hi, everyone. It's Holly Schultz from babygizmo.com. This is the Baby Jogger City Mini GT. Now, the GT is a souped up version of the regular City Mini. It has a bit larger seat, an adjustable handle, and some mini all terrain tires to help it charge through all kinds of different terrain. Let me show it to you. Now, if you want to know what the difference is between the GT and the regular City Mini, you're going to have to watch my video, GT vs. City Mini. Now, let's talk about the seat on the GT. It's a little bit bigger. It is 14 inches wide, 21 inch seat back, and a very large measurement of 26 inches from the back of the seat to the top of the canopy under there. It also has a deep place where the child sets their bum. It's 10 inches from back of seat to where their knees bend, an additional 11 inches, um, what I call a leg drop, from where their knees bend to where they place their feet. It has a weight capacity of up to 65 pounds, so your larger children can jump in for a ride. It has a padded five-point adjustable harness, and what I like about the City Mini harness is there's no re-threading with this one. They're clips, you undo them, and you attach them to whatever height is good for your child, so it's very easy to do. Now, the buckle, it's not too hard to do, but a little tricky for our toddlers. You have to squeeze. Um, that's not rocket science, but you know, you might have a three-year-old for sure is going to get it undone. And you might get the two-year-old, but it's a pretty good buckle. Now, there's no adjustable footrest, but like I said, there is a place for them to set their feet. Now, there's a recline on the GT, and it is just like the, the recline you're used to. It is a one-touch, well, it's a one-handed, but it's a strap system. You squeeze. You pull, and the seat's going to go back, and wherever you stop is where the seat's going to stop. So it goes all the way back here, which is nearly flat. I believe it's about 150 degrees. So you can put a newborn right in the seat because it has such a deep recline. And to put it back up, you just have to pull, put your finger in here, and push the seat up to wherever you would like. Now what's great about the City GT is that it has this mesh window, as you can see right through. It allows air to circulate right through that seat, so it's going to keep your child cool. But if it's windy or cold, um, there is a guard that just hides away up here that you just bring down like that, attach it, it velcros at the bottom, and that's going to keep it closed. So that's a very good seat, really deep recline. And while I'm back here, let me just show you the storage on the GT. There's a really large storage pocket. Um, it will hold lots of um, parent essentials, it's mesh, um, so that's one of the storage pieces. Now there's a basket underneath the stroller and what I love is they took this bar and they curved it downwards so it allows plenty of access to the basket. I got my big old diaper bag here and I can easily put it in the, the basket now, which was hard on the original City Mini of last year and before that because the bar went straight across. So the GT has the rounded bar. It allows you to get even a big diaper bag in there. Um, there you go, like that. And the sides of the basket now are um, have a little give so you can get in from the sides as well. Now let's talk canopy. The canopy on the City Mini GT is huge. This is a ginormous canopy. It's going to give your child full sun protection. Now what I love is it's a three panel canopy. It goes back so if you just wanted half of it out you could do that too in case it's not that sunny of a day. Now there are two peekaboo windows on top that means that's how large this canopy is that you need to. Now my only problem with the peekaboo windows is that they put velcro on them. I just you know, there are other strollers like the City Elite, they have a magnetic closure, and I'm sure it's more expensive, but I would have liked to see a magnetic closure. How much can magnets cost, right? Um, so I would have liked to see a magnetic closure on both these peekaboo windows, but I'm glad that there's two so that, you know, I can really keep an eye on my rider. Now this, you are going to love this fact about the GT. It has an adjustable handle. It goes from 42 inches from the ground to where I place my hands all the way to 32 inches, so for younger siblings or shorter parents. So that is a great option, plus it stops in between as well. It's a really great thing that they added to the GT to have an adjustable handle. Now let's talk about one of the best features that kind of makes it the GT. It's these air-filled, well, they're actually not air-filled, they seem like it, but they're forever air tires. It means you're never going to have to worry about a flat but they act just like air tires. So these are going to charge through all kinds of different terrain. Now, they're mini all-terrain tires because they're only eight and a half inches. 
not like the regular 12 inch, but that's going to make the stroller lighter, easier to fold, um, but it's still going to get you through the gravel, the playground mulch, the grass with no problem. So these wheels are really going to tackle all kinds of different stuff. Now, it's, they're not meant to be jogging tires. This is in no way do they think it's going to replace your jogger, but the Forever Air tires are a nice touch. Now, it's a three-wheel design. The front wheel is a swivel wheel, and it has um, the ability to lock straight. You just have to pull up on the gray button, and that locks it, and push down, and that lets it go free. So that's a super easy adjustment right there. Um, and like I said, the rear tires, those are, they're all eight and a half inch tires, but these rear ones, they pop off so easy with a push of a button, just in case you needed to um, take them off. Now, the brake on the GT, it's really flip-flop friendly because you don't even need to use your foot at all. It's actually a handbrake on the side. It's super easy to do. You just pull it up. That's going to lock the stroller into place, and you pull it back down, and that's going to let the stroller go free. Now, the maneuverability on the GT is fabulous. If you thought the maneuverability was good on the regular City Mini, you've not tried the GT yet. These Forever Air tires make it a breeze to push. This is truly a one-handed stroller. Even with a large child aboard, I can zip this baby around everywhere. Um, so I just really like it. And it has a front wheel suspension, so that's going to absorb some of the bumps. Now, because it's the GT, does it still have that fold that we're so used to from Baby Jagger? Well, absolutely. Super easy to fold. It's one-handed. All you have to do is grab the strap in the seat, pull up. Did you hear that? That's the automatic lock. That's right. This baby has an automatic lock, which I absolutely love, so that I know it's locked when I'm transporting it. Now, the GT, it weighs in at almost 21 pounds, so it's just a bit above our lightweight plus category, and it's because of those Forever Air tires. But you know what? I think it's worth it. Um, it is heavier than the original City Mini, um, but because it has those mini all-terrain tires, I'm, more, I'm willing to carry the extra weight. It's not that much, really. I'm telling you, I can whip this in my trunk with no problem. It's still very compact. Even with the air-filled tires, you don't even notice them. As you can see, this is going to fit in the smallest of trunks. Now, unfolding it, all you have to do, find your automatic lock, unlock it, pull open your stroller, until it locks and you're pretty much ready to go. Now it's also good to know that you can accessorize this baby. It does have the mounting brackets right here. It's going to work with the compact pram from Baby Jogger, which turns it into a pram. It has the bassinet that fits in the seat. You can also get car seat adapters for most of the popular car infant car seats, such as, you know, Graco, Peg Perigo, Evenflow, Kiko, Maxi Cozy. Um, so it can be a travel system. Um, there's a foot muff you can get with it. And you could even use it with the Baby Jogger glider board, which is the ride-on board um, for, you know, an older child up to 40 pounds to hitch a ride. So there you go. I am in love with the Baby Jogger City Mini GT. I just think the, the adjustable handlebar and those little mini all-terrain tires are absolutely worth getting the GT. Now the GT, it's a bit pricier. It's $349 retail, so hopefully it'll go on sale. Um, but you know what? It's worth it because this is a stroller that you can use from birth all the way up through your stroller years because it goes to 65 pounds. Most 65 pound kids aren't riding in a stroller, so you're going to be able to use this for quite a while. So there you go. That's my look at the Baby Jogger City Mini GT, and I'm Holly Schultz from BabyGizmo.com.